God, we thank you for your faithfulness. God, our, our situations will let us down. The weather will let us down. Our organizations, the people that we hope will help us sometimes let us down. God, everything in life at times seems to disappoint, but you will always remain with us. It doesn't always make sense, but God, we trust you. We thank you that you've been with us even at the times that we didn't recognize you. We thank you that you've been with us, looking after us, even at the times that we didn't know how to call out to you. We thank you that you loved us before we even considered you a friend. We thank you for your faithfulness in the past, and God, we look to you for your faithfulness through the future. We put our hope in you and nobody and nothing else. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. God, I pray today that for every person here that we would find a deeper sense of peace in releasing everything to you, in knowing that you hold our future and nobody else, that you care for us, that you love us, that you will remain with us. We thank you. It's in your name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Woo! Great to see you this morning. It's, it, it's a wonderful day. You can go ahead and take a seat. My name is Santosh. People call me Pastor Tosh. You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> but I want to say, uh, it's, I want to say welcome. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming and joining us today. I have been praying that today you would have an incredible encounter with God, that, that God will touch your heart in a special way. Uh, inside your program, you can go ahead and take a look, and you might wonder, why do we all have these name tags? Well, we like to connect with one another. We want every person to be seen, to be known, and to be loved. So you can go ahead, pull that out right now, write your name down, and go ahead and put that on. Because in just a moment, I'm going to give you a chance to connect with somebody that you haven't yet met before. And, you know, today, I, I hope that uh, nobody forgot, today is Mother's Day. Yeah, <laughs> we can celebrate that. Mother's Day is a very special day. Uh, we've all had different people in our lives who have been important. And I think in my own life, I've had so many special mothers in my life. My own mom uh, who, who raised me, I, I don't know who I would be without her. She taught me uh, the love of God. She poured into me. She modeled what it is to serve she, she shows incredible humility, and she's even part of this church, and even to this day, she has encouraged me to be a follower of Jesus, and I don't know who I'd be without her. This morning, I gave my mother-in-law a call. I, you know, I, you can hear stories or jokes about mother-in-laws. I can tell you I feel so thankful. I have a mother-in-law who's been such an encouragement. I told her, thank you for raising such a wonderful daughter. Uh, <laughs> um, and she, she did a great job raising my wife, Christy. Um, but also, she, she encouraged my wife, Christy, to go and serve overseas. And that's where I met her when I was serving overseas. And we got engaged over there. And so, I mean, I said, thank you for all that you've done. And even encouraging, inspiring me in my life. And I can think about my wife, who is an amazing mother. And I, I think, I mean, who would I be without her in my life? And I can think through my life of so many women who I wasn't related to, who poured into me spiritually and who are spiritual mothers in different ways. So I wanna do this. Think about somebody in your life that was a mother in some form in your life that maybe you didn't recognize how much they were pouring into you. How often is that the case with mothers? We take for granted what they do. Uh, but I want you to think for a moment of, of somebody who was maybe your biological mother, maybe a spiritual mother to you, and, and in a way that they were encouraging and helpful and pouring into your life and I want you to find somebody you don't know. Don't just, sit to, don't just talk to the person you came with. Talk with somebody you don't know and tell them a story about somebody who was a mother to you. All right, I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. Go ahead and stand up, meet somebody new, tell them an encouraging, inspiring story. Go ahead. Go ahead.